Today is a very, very awesome day, and why is that an awesome day? Because it is another day of the Awesome Pack Battle League, and it is week 8, I believe, and this week I will be going up against the Sketchy Smurgle, and I should probably clear out my desk in its entirety whenever I do a new video, and why am I not focusing? Where did my focus go? Where did my focus go? Help. It's not focusing anymore. Uh, there we go. That fixed it. Zooming in and out of it so it seemed to fix it. That was weird. That has never happened before. All right, so the autofocus appears to be back on. Anyways, it is week seven, and I believe that this week is Steam Siege, as you can tell by the fact that I didn't know that I still had Fates Collide packs out there, which is awesome that I forgot to do that. Let's see what we have here. Yes, it's week eight. We have three weeks left, and we got three bonus packs, which is why we're going to be using a bonus pack this week. This week on week eight is Steam Siege, and I believe, I believe that we have a Steam Siege pack left. Don't, don't we, do we? No, we don't actually. No, we have a Guardians Rising and a Sun and Moon base. So we are going to be using Breakpoint this week then instead, which I probably should have used a few weeks ago when I did Breakpoint. But hey, you know what? Lessons learned. So let's set that aside. We got, let's see, we got three Steam Siege cards, and we got ourselves a Tangela which is just a common, which is not bad, because that means that I have a pretty good chance of pulling it. And then we got our three package here. We got two uh, Yveltal breaks and a Xerneas break. We're going to have ourselves a Xerneas break sandwich or a Yveltal sandwich. It depends on how you want to say it. So either way, this is a set that I need a few cards from still, and I am pretty excited to be opening it. And uh, let's um, see if we could um, get a break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. All right, nerds. Anyways, good luck, to Sketchy Smurgle. Um, I wish you good luck. Just um, not as good a luck as me. And let's see if. Oh no, we exposed our code card. So we're going to go that. We can still get a break card, however. So, ugh. We can still get a Tangela too, so that would be pretty nice. We can get up to two Tangelas in a pack because we can get it in regular and in reverse. So anyway, so we're starting off with a greedy dice skip loom. You know, after two amazing weeks, I managed to get a 12-point week, a 10-point week, and watch me just completely blow it this week. Uh, Mareep, because you know all my luck is gone. Mareep, uh, Fungus, our reverse is just a Dino, and our rare is just a Jump Bluff regular rare but that is okay because we still got two packs left and we still of course have our bonus pack and let me did i i didn't get changela did i because i got quite a few grass types but not my tangela nope no i did not so let's see about that let's see if we can fix that and anyway so there let's see if we can get your guys's code card out of there without exposing it it's not wanting to come out so there is your guys's code card right there and I can already tell that this is a green code hard, so let's see if we can still get something decent. Uh, Claw Fossil Anorith, Persian, Anorith, Litwick, Ponyta, Meryl, Oshawott, Croagunk, and our reverse is a Captivating Pokepuff, and our rare is just a Hoopa. Regular rare, so this is just how my life is this week. It's like, oh, Cast, you don't have money for Pokemon cards. So you not only are you not going to have any more Pokemon cards, you're not even going to get any good pulls what you got left. So, you know, that's just how the story of Cast's life goes. So, oh, look, that is a white code card. So, one, two, and three to the front. So, at least we'll get at least two points. So, that's good to know. All right, so we got ourselves a Pokemon Ranger and Ambipom, Nidorino, uh, Fungus. Joltik, Litwick, Ponyta, Meryl, our reverse is a Fungus, and our rare is a Chandelure Holographic. So hey, we got two points there, and there I am not out of the picture quite yet. I got Break Point, which again could have something good in either a green or a white code card, so it will not matter a whole lot because we have a green freaking code card. 
And okay, there you go, guys. Enjoy your code card. One, two, and three to the front. And let's just see how badly I get beaten this week. All right, so we're starting off with a Swana, Cloister, Cricketune, a Slowpoke, Clo. Mm. Clefairy, Psyduck, Phantom, and oh my freaking god, Luxray Break. That brings us up to five points, guys. Oh my god, that is so cool, and our rare is just a Pangoro, regular rare, that is awesome, because with five points, I mean, I'm probably not going to win, but I could win. Five points is not the safe zone, but it's in the, oh my god, you have a chance, so, alright nerds, that is pretty, pretty solid. So, anyways, if you like this video, um, let me know in the comments section down below, tell me what's your favorite pool, I'm going to say Luxray Break uh, is mine, by the way, with that, shout out to Mouse Alchemist, you know. I know you have a team of luxury. You like it so very, very much. That, that's kind of weird how I'm doing this. Anyways, let me know. And be sure to hit that like button or hit the dislike button. If you didn't like this, maybe you hate Chandelure. Maybe it upsets you for reasons you do not understand. And you're like, nope, don't like it. Either way, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and be sure to check me out on social media. You can find me on Twitter at uh, at Jedi underscore cast and on Facebook at cast the nerd and if you don't remember that well check the description down below and I will have links to those to those channels or pages so you can go over there and say hi to cast I like to talk I'm a lonely person so later nerds